The Super Berberine Supplement by Sugar MD is touted to foster healthy glucose metabolism levels and support the body's natural inflammatory process. All sounds good. Let's take a look at the research ingredients and what you need to know if you're going to try this supplement. As you can see from the supplement facts label of Sugar MD's Super Berberine, the supplement is pretty straightforward because there's really only two ingredients 4,000 milligrams of sea lion cinnamon and 250 milligrams of dihydroberberine. Dihydroberberine is actually a metabolite of berberine itself. So when you consume berberine supplements, it gets broken down and dihydroberberine is formed. Now, this is an important distinction because as popular as berberine is for lowering blood sugar and cholesterol and maybe even having a little bit of a weight loss effect, its absorption by the body is pretty low. Dihydroberberine, on the other hand, is said to be a more bioavailable source of berberine. In other words, what this means is if you can absorb the berberine better by using dihydroberberine, it might work better. Okay, so what is the evidence for dihydroberberine? In this study you're looking at, which was a small study by the way, it only involved five people, dihydroberberine was shown to be better absorbed than regular berberine. Now on the plus side, this study actually used the very same form of dihydroberberine, it's called Glucovantage, as is found in the Sugar MD Super Berberine Supplement. However, one drawback to this particular study is that neither dihydroberberine or regular berberine appeared to lower blood sugar after two hours. What it means is that if dihydroberberine really is effective at lowering blood sugar and cholesterol, it just may take longer than two hours to kick in. And the other thing to keep in mind is that while dihydroberberine may indeed be better absorbed, the vast majority of research overall is not on dihydroberberine, it's actually on regular berberine. Next up is cinnamon, which has a long reputation of helping regulate blood sugar levels, such as shown in this meta-analysis of 16 different cinnamon diabetes studies showing that cinnamon appears to help lower blood sugar and insulin resistance. And while that is encouraging, if you look at a lot of the studies on cinnamon and blood sugar and diabetes, you find that they actually are using cassia cinnamon and not ceylon cinnamon, which is found in the Sugar MD Super Berberine supplement. Okay, so what is the evidence for ceylon cinnamon? Well, we have this paper where it was found that six grams of ceylon cinnamon did not affect blood sugar or insulin levels after eating in people who had insulin resistance. However, in this other study, which lasted four months, we see that people who took 1.5 grams of ceylon cinnamon saw 35% reductions in fasting blood sugar and a significant drop of about 1% in hemoglobin A1c. And as for cinnamon and weight loss, I think right now the research is a little bit murky. For example, in this paper, people taking 500 milligrams of ceylon Salon cinnamon for three months didn't lose body weight but they did appear to have a slight reduction, about an inch, in their hip circumference. Okay, so if you try super berberine and you don't get the results you're looking for, can you get your money back? And the answer is yes. Super berberine comes with a 30-day money-back guarantee. However, keep in mind that the company is only offering refunds on bottles that are sealed and unopened. Additionally, understand that the company is also going to charge a 20% process fee on all refunds. What this means for you is that your refund will be reduced by 20%. To get the refund process started, you first have to contact the company and obtain a return merchandise authorization number. And you can get that by either emailing the company or calling them on their customer service phone number. So the ingredients in Sugar MD's Super Berberine are interesting. And while in theory, both ingredients may work better together than separately, the only way to really know for sure is to do a few clinical studies on it.